Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Partly to mostly cloudy, more humid, maybe some scattered showers. 76 the high. It's 63 downtown GR. Joe, I, you were very disappointed on your drive work today. Drive to work today. Uh, yeah, as I am almost every day, except I I started getting tense because not only have the lights stopped blinking earlier, like they a, a light that I pass every single morning that until a month ago or so was always blinking at that time is now a full cycle light. That drives me nuts. So that pisses me off. And then waiting at it for nobody kills me. And I wondered, Mm -hmm. why do we not have sensors? Apparently we have some in around the city. Right. Oh yeah, they're definitely. But usually where that affects you is if you're on the main road, like when I come through Ada in front of Amway, They've they've changed some of the roads there, so there used to be a, a light basically at the end, each end of the mile long building that is the Amway mm-hmm. headquarters. Now they've added one in the middle, so there's a potential for me to stop three times in one mile in the middle of the night because all it takes is one car to come up the side street, and then the light immediately changes. So yeah, even though that. I'm on the five lane highway, yeah. and you go, ah, oh, come on, man. And you know what? That really sucks. But what sucks worse is when you're stopped there for nobody. Yeah. When you oh look yeah. Both oh, it's ways, maddening. And then yeah. you look ahead, and it's you're absolutely the maddening. Sole person on the yeah. road. That Actually, happens. At the the light cycle. Um, it's at it. Um, Fulton and Forest Hills Avenue, just before you get onto the interstate, is just like that, where it changes, and there's no one around. So you're just stopped there like an idiot, just going, huh? where do we live? Mm, Why right. do we live in M. Night Shyamalan's The Village here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always feel like it's a setup, like I'm about to be attacked what by the hell? something. Yeah, like Because there's no reason to stop. So today it just hit me especially hard. Mm-hmm. So hard that here we are at 10, we right before we came into this break and I'm ranting about our lack of right. sensors in the roads. Mm-hmm. I actually changed my route to get Did to 131 really? uh, about a year ago. I had gone the same way and I finally got to the point where I'm like, I have to stop at this light once a week. I never see a car here. Other drivers would stop and then drive right through the light or just never stop. Mm-hmm. Why right. not? Why not drive through the light? No one cares. They should, in those cases, even if it's a it's a slightly potentially sketchy intersection, mm-hmm. just have it as a four way blinking red. So you stop, you still stop, but and then, then you can go if it's clear. It's that's what I don't understand. And then about a year ago, there's an intersection. It's a uh, Thornapple River and Cascade Road. They had redone. The intersection, they just repaved it, and they I think they put in new sewer lines or something like that. But basically, the footprint of the road is exactly what it was a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. But instead, but now, they added a sign that says, no turn on red. And it's the most maddening thing. You get people honking at you. Oh, of course. Because you have I, to point to the sign, and then they I, shoot I, I you. Did, I did that on Sunday. Here, it's Sunday morning. There's like eight cars on the road. They have the Lord. I'm going I'm going to go get some donuts for the kids. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting there at this stupid intersection. No one's around except like, you know, one car. You can see a car coming from a quarter mile away. Yeah. It might be going faster than you think. And you go, "Oh, come yeah. on. Like yeah. why did you add this sign?" I don't, don't and it's not even st- a it's not even a place where I remember like where it like a high accident rate like some intersection you go, well I get it God there's an accident there every day but that one you go well but you can see clearly from both directions easily it's clear you complete your right just make your right why you, did you put a sign up if you work for the county and you want some help, some of our help with the traffic flow and everything we obviously all have degrees in traffic flow and civil engineering of course we do all the basics yeah. all the fundamentals well, well there I have are times well there are times and though, feelings there are times though that i think they feelings go, is what you use they go well we've got the empirical data and everything and you go yeah but it's it, i mean that works some most of the time but not all the time sometimes there really is you know, you can look at all the data and you go, well, I mean, this saves lives or whatever. And you go, yeah, but this really doesn't make any sense. It's just so unnecessary. When we do don't we get sensors? need it. When do we get sensors? Why don't you move to somewhere where there's sensors? I'd prefer that, just to have sensors When you're here. talking to your realtor. No, there's mm-hmm. some sensors. Talk to your realtor and say, I want to live in a sensor neighborhood. 
I want this neighborhood to be a censor neighborhood. I <laughs> want my know, neighborhood to be a censor neighborhood. Uh, did you know, Joe, if your car is covered in reflector tape, you can ignore all those traffic lights. Can you tell me something? Yes. Okay. I don't know if it'll be right, but I can always tell you yeah, something. Yeah, always has a fact. I do. <laughs> so, okay, there was, there was that urban legend. I don't know if it was here. This was when I was still living in the burbs of Chicago. But if you flashed on your brights... Oh, Back that was a forth. gang initiation thing? No, 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 no. That it would change the, the red light. Yes. Because mm-hmm. when emergency vehicles go through intersections, is it is there a light sensor on there or something that senses it? Have I you think ever, there's a transmitter now. Is there I think that, where it changes I, I, I think, the light automatically? I think that it may have been possible that that happened at some point like once <laughs> i believe that's urban legend yeah i don't uh if, if it was it was an anomaly if no. it ever worked somewhere it may have been an anomaly well the that, light thing but, but have you seen emerg- uh, an emergency vehicle approach i believe they have a transmitter though. okay so i'm not crazy much like, the light like, like yeah i think they have change. a i think they have a transmitter basically like a much better version of your own garage door opener you get near it press the button it opens and in this case, I believe they get close and then gotcha. it changes the lights. If they're so equipped, mm-hmm. most places they go through a red light. Some yeah. places it changes, maybe in a bigger city. I, every place I live, I've never seen the lights just start ran, like automatically like changing change right for away. emergency vehicles. Usually they slow down slightly and make sure everybody heard them over the sound of their blaring radios or whatever they're doing mm-hmm. and then proceed through the red light. Traffic signal preemption is a type of system that allows the normal operation of traffic lights to be preempted. The most common use of these is to manipulate traffic signals in the path of emergency vehicles. Mm -hmm. There you go. But the thing, yeah, that was, so I knew that that was a thing, but I wondered if anyone had ever heard, if any of your friends had ever told you. With the the, the lights, yeah, that it would screw it up. Yeah. Um, It'll change for you. Yeah, I don't, I, I honestly don't know if that ever worked. If it did, it, I don't think it does now. a popular radio prank in the 90s was to report in a, like on april fool's day that they're voice activated oh yeah and if you roll the window uh, yeah. down you can I think yell and all you, all you need to do is see one person doing it to know it's the greatest thing ever and you're mm-hmm. always going to get somebody who's gullible sure well I, they I, respond I don't, to the they that that's how they change that's how the lights change is that they hear the volume yeah of the sirens so as long as you make a really loud noise it will change. You can yell or you can just lay on your horn. The light will change. Pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Uh, Try it often. Yeah. Try it now. Kid Rock. Wasting time. 97.9 GRD Rocks.